Hi, it's Steph, and we're at Walmart. And we're gonna take a look at what they have in stock for house plants, planters, and seed starting supplies. They have quite a bit of selection here at this Walmart store. Now this one is about 20 minutes from my home, so it's not my usual Walmart. But I was in this area, so I thought that I would take a look. And I noticed they have this really big fiddle leaf fig. It's pretty much a tree size at this point. Um, probably five to six feet tall. And it is $94. Let's take a look at the tag here. It's a bit expensive, but it's also a really large size, $95. And they also have some really good size peace lilies. What I found um, here at this store is that they have a good selection of really large plants that you could use for floor plants. And this one has really large foliage, the serenity plant, and lilies, the peace lilies white blooms that these plants often get. This is a really easy, low care plant. Doesn't require um, too much maintenance and you know that it needs water because the leaves will start drooping. So pretty good beginner plant. They also have these really cute decorative um, plastic pots that look like terracotta. Let's see. The good thing about this is that they have a terracotta appearance but they're plastic, so they're very lightweight. They won't crack as easily. Um, and just generally low maintenance. So these here are a 10 inch pot, 1.91 gallon by Costa Farms, and they are $24.84. Soil feels like it's moist, like it's been watered. And the plant looks relatively healthy. In addition to the terracotta look pot, uh, planter pot, they also have this white one in the same style. This one has a porcelain look. Like it could be concrete, painted concrete, but again, it's that resin, plastic, lightweight material. This is a snake plant. There's the tag if you wanna take a look, but this one is also $24.98 by Costa Farms. Um, these also another really low maintenance, beginner friendly plant. The common name is a snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue. And they're very easy. They pretty much only need water maybe once a month. They like to dry out between waterings. The quickest way to kill these plants is by overwatering them. Ask me how I know. I've probably killed about three of them. But now that I know better, I do better and they're thriving, which is always a good thing. And it helps remove air pollutants from your space. So that's always a good benefit to having house plants. They help clean your air. And it says, low to bright light, water when top two inches of soil is dry, indoor temperature of 50 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. This plant has really beautiful foliage. It's got a blue gray appearance with this dark green veining. And this one here is 1984. And it's an eight inch pot, six inch pot. And it's an Alocasia Silver Dragon. Really beautiful. This here is a garden in a pot. You get three different plants. And these are um, medium light. They require medium light. It doesn't tell me what type of plants they are. But let me do my best at guessing here. This looks like a Dracaena spike type plant. This one here may be some kind of Defenbachia. And this one, I am not sure, but I'm open to comments um, to let me know what you think these are. Go ahead and comment below. Am I right with the Dracaena and the Defenbachia? And what's your best guess on this plant here? These small little gardens in a pot, they even have this uh, Spanish moss in here for a decorative accent. And they are, let's see how much. They're a six inch planter and they are $15.97. Well, I just found a Defenbachia and it does look like that plant in the 
little planter we just looked at. So I might be right with that one, but really beautiful foliage. Look how bright that is. A speckled or variegated leaf. And this one here um, says it also um, is a breathe easy plant. So research suggests that these plants may help remove air pollutants from your space. It is $9.96 for this plant. Also has that um, pot like the larger ones we were looking at where they look like porcelain or some type of painted cement, but they are plastic and lightweight. They have some of these palms here, which generally people use on patios in my area here in zone 6B. In the summertime, you'll see a lot of these used as decorative planters on patios or by pools to kind of give them, give the area a bit of a tropical vibe. But people use these palms as house plants all the time. And they are majesty palm. And this one here says that it likes bright light, keep moist but not wet, indoor temperature of 50 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And this planter is also 2484. And right behind it, there is a Birds of Paradise. Now these have really beautiful, large foliage. I do believe these might be toxic for pets. So as always, when looking for house plants, if you have children and pets, you certainly wanna Google the plant to ensure that they are either safe or not before you bring them home. But this one has some new large leaves emerging. They're just curled up here. And let's see how much this beauty is. 46.96. This is a 12 inch white bird of paradise. This is a really pretty floor plant. It's got three stalks and let's see what it is. I believe it's some kind of, um, it has a name similar to like a corn plant. Let's see. It's a cane plant, a 12 inch mass cane for $46.96. It likes medium to bright light water when top inch of soil dries indoor temperatures of 50 to 90 degrees fahrenheit they also have some of these small planters like we saw at home depot the other day and i actually have one of these types of peperomias and i overwatered it if you feel the leaves they have very much like a sedum type texture and that should have clued me in on the fact that these like less water i was watering them about once a week and all of a sudden i had some browning of leaves and a bunch of leaf drop and i'm down to like maybe three leaves altogether so i have backed off on the watering but this is um a plant that i would treat like a succulent or like a sedum and not water it that often um, at least that's been my experience but these small containers here are uh, it looks like 3.8 containers 10.82 ounces 448 and they have a few to choose from they even have a very tiny peace lily or serenity plant we just looked at a really large floor version but you can also get a small starter if you wanted to. These here are the, um, let's see, they, they sell these in bigger ones as tropical foliage plants as well for outdoor decor during the summer. Um, Crotons, I believe it's a croton. And it says, uh, my full name is Houseplant. Yes, we, we figured that much. Um, and it likes medium light. Really beautiful colors on this foliage. These are also 448. So for these small ones, it looks like those are the three options they have at the moment. The Serenity plant, the Peperomia, and this Crocus. You have someone who either started a new business or moved into a new home. Here's a great gift for a housewarming plant. This is a money plant. It symbolizes um, prosperity and good fortune. And it has a really cute, um, this is a porcelain pot, but it looks like a woven basket in this tan and white color. And these are $15.97. They have a really good looking braided trunk. And then all the foliage atop. I have one of these. They're also really low maintenance and mine has done really, really well with not much care. And then they have these anthuriums that have the same similar basket type planter for $12.96. A shiny heart-shaped green foliage with 
this red heart-shaped bloom. These show up a lot around the holidays, but they would also be a great gift for Valentine's Day for someone who enjoys houseplants. They'll certainly last longer than a bouquet of roses, but you could also give someone a rose bush and that will last longer too. Look at all these palms. Are we on a tropical vacation? No, we're just in Walmart, but these are huge, really beautiful. If you have a sun porch or a sunroom, that'd be a really great addition. So long as it's insulated or stays warm, right? These like warm temperatures. Look at this beauty. It's a Calathea. It has this pink striping on these large green leaves. There's a new leaf right there. These like humidity. So in my last video, I talked about how I was struggling with one of my Calatheas and I got some really, really great comments and suggestions. And some of them were that they need humidity and that they don't enjoy tap water. So use distilled water or rain water and keep them humid with either running a humidifier or a pebble tray. Pebble tray is a tray of water underneath with some pebbles that you would sit your pot on top or your planter and it would provide humidity as the water evaporates to the plant's foliage. These here, let's see how much this one is. This is the Calathea. Medium to bright light, keep moist but not wet. Indoor temperature of 50 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And these are Let's find the price, $15.97. And this plant right on the side of it has really beautiful foliage. It looks like it could be some kind of variegated bromelard. Bromelard or bromelad? Bromelad. Yeah, cool. It says that these like medium to bright light, water one top inch of soil dries, indoor temperature of 50 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And these, uh, have a really tropical look as well. Look at this foliage. And there's actually some with just green foliage with some blooms over there that we'll take a peek at. Look at that. Really pretty. So this here is a bromelad. Bromelad. And I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. You can correct me in the comments so that I'll know for next time. Um, and these are $15.97. The same similar planter that we've seen. I really like these planters. I think they're a really good looking pot. And I'm really starting to enjoy plastic pots for the lightweight and durability of them. And look at all of these plants. So beautiful. Let's go check out a few more. This planter is actually terracotta and it's a beautiful maranta or a prayer plant these are gorgeous they feel like velvet and look at all the color variation on this leaf the dark green and the light pink and the chartreuse in the center with this pink veining absolutely beautiful and this is actually a hanging plant which is awesome so if you have a good spot for a hanger with this uh, rope detail really pretty so let's check this out. Let's see, it's a low light. I enjoy low light, the red prayer plant. My full name is Maranta and I'm from Brazil. Let's see the details here. It says it likes low light, water when soil feels dry, easy to grow in a slow grow rate. Fertilize every month and 65 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a six and a half inch hanging basket type pot for 1984 and right on the side of it they have quite a few of these um, porcelain pots that one has a terracotta look this one is white and this one is also a low light and this is another one that I said was a really easy care if you want a trailing plant this golden pothos really easy it's also low light so if you don't have a lot of light you can still grow a plant a house plant and this one here also says it likes low light, water when dry, easy to grow, medium growth rate, and fertilize every month. And 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's all are also really pretty. And then this one here, which I'm not familiar with. Look at the foliage on that. 
has a really pretty light green sage look to it with the white veining. This is what it's called. We can try to pronounce it. Let's see. Tretzcantia albiflora. It likes medium light. And it's also in a hanger. These are a little small, but it looks like it would be a trailing plant. There's another one here. And then there's this one here, which is an arrowhead plant. Also likes low light. I really like these hanging baskets. They're really good looking actually. Oh, and there's a silver pothos. I just got one of these and they're really pretty. Let's take a look. Look at this foliage. It's like velvety with silver speckles. Absolutely beautiful. That one's stuck there, but it's also a trailer. Same type of planter situation in the um, porcelain pots. They do have a liner. You do not have to repot these right away. If your house plants look happy in the planting soil that they're in, you can leave them there until they do not look happy. And then at that point, you can evaluate repotting them. And a neon pothos, and it is in fact neon. Look at that bright color compared to the green. Beautiful. Neon pothos are also low light in a trailer. And look at these cool things. What are these? They look like they want to be grown upward in a trellis type setting. Let's see. This is a shingle vine. And it's 1984, also grown by Costa Farms. That is very interesting. Check out all these large house plants. The serenity plant, some fiddle leaf figs, some snake plants. So many to choose from. Even some monstera. Beautiful. I really, really like these pots. So these are also 2484. I have one of these, a planter, a plant that a neighbor gave me a division of, and it's doing really well. It's really low fuss for me, actually. Um, let's see what the care instructions read. It says medium to bright light, water when top two inches of soil is dry, indoor temperature 50 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's a Monstera. Beautiful. A smaller version of the floor plant we saw when we began the video, the fiddle leaf fig. And it has a lot of new growth. There's a new leaf about to emerge. Healthy looking foliage. Really nice. This one could use a little bit of cleanup, but this is a Defenbachia maculata. Yep, Defenbachia maculata, 1984. It says medium to bright light plant water when top inch of soil dries it likes 50 to 90 degrees fahrenheit almost looks like it has like a spotting and i don't know if that's part of the foliage or if something is going on here but otherwise the uh, variegation in green two shades of green is really pretty that's another version of it the defenbacher maculata this one has a bigger leaf. And the last time we were looking at house plants over at Home Depot, we had seen a ZZ plant. And I mentioned that that was another really low care, easy, low fuss, beginner friendly plant, but they only had green. And this is what they look like. And this is called the Raven ZZ plant. And it's low to high light water as top inch of soil dries, keep above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, even though the tag says low to high light, it definitely seems to do well in low light. Not that I know from experience, but if you watch Plantarina, which is a really big um, plant house plant channel, uh, she has mentioned before that she has seen these thrive in even a bathroom with no light, um, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. So, good option for a low light situation, a ZZ plant. Some ficus or rubber plant. These have really beautiful, large, shiny, dark leaves. 
and they're just a really interesting plant. But they do have the tendency to get dusty, and if you have hard water like I do, you're going to see the spotting on the plant if you end up dusting them with some of that water. So if you do have to clean the foliage, I would say that you should probably use a damp cloth with either like a filtered or a bottled type water. Really pretty. These are not a bad size for the price. They're a pretty good size plant, lots of foliage, um, and these are 1997 and they are an eight inch pot. Some more sense of area. Th these are just gorgeous. They're very modern, contemporary looking, just a really sharp looking plant. They're definitely gonna be getting more planters as the you know, season starts in the next couple of months, but they didn't have a bad selection. And there was actually one I've never seen before that really caught my eye, and I'm gonna show that to you now. Look at this beauty. It actually looks like a wooden planter. It's absolutely beautiful. It's called the Hudson 16 inch planter by Better Homes and Gardens. And look how pretty this would be as a floor plant. It has very much a boho vibe to it. A floor plant planter. Beautiful. Let's take a closer look at the texture outside of the plastic. So they're only wrapped on top, so you can kind of take a look at the bottom, but this literally looks like wood. And it's lightweight. What's not to love about that? I absolutely love these planters that look like real materials, but they're a really good faux. And the best part is that they're lightweight. When you fill these with soil and a plant, they get heavy quick. So the lightweight aspect is really helpful. Here's another really pretty modern looking planter. It indents at the bottom. It looks like a type of terracotta or porcelain with a white finish. Really modern looking if you have a modern aesthetic. This is the Lori 14 inch planter by Better Homes and Gardens. And this one is 1997. And so is the 16 inch planter we just looked at. You want a planter that looks like concrete, but weighs like a feather? Look at this one. This is $13.97. It's the Better Homes and Gardens. It's a 14 inch. Let's see if we can get the name of it in case you want to look it up online. Sometimes the planners are available online and sometimes they're not. It's called the Haas Wood 14 inch planter by Better Homes and Gardens. I love that. So that has a really pretty concrete look. That one looks concrete. This one looks wood. I mean, I have to say, they have pretty good looking planters at the moment. This white one looks pretty. Um, if you like white planters, they used to have one that looked like galvanized tin or galvanized stainless steel that was similar to this one. This is a little bit larger planter. Um, it's 2548. Let's see. Well, it says it's a 16 inch. By Better Homes and Gardens, it's called the Elan, E-L-L-A-N, or Ellen. It's also plastic. With this one, you would have to fill up the soil to the edge, otherwise you would see this plastic color. Some of them, they do a better job about fading the color, like this one here. Um, and this one here, you don't have to worry about it at all because it looks concrete through and through. They're starting to get ready to put out all of their spring garden items the egg chairs and these here look like some raised garden beds and this wicker look they're still packaged up so no price on those yet but it's by keeter and it's a full bloom garden bed look at that so if you wanted to have a little bit of an, a raised bed for like an herb garden or something on a patio this would be really pretty that's a nice looking fire pit it's called the Damon 26 inch wood burning fire pit, heavy duty steel design. Looks like it comes with a lid, mesh screen, heat resistant finish, protective cover and lifter. $49.74. And something I've never seen at Walmart before. 
This is their line, the Expert Gardener, and they have some garden carts, very similar to a Gorilla Cart. They are $64 for these here in the front. This is the Steel Garden Cart, has 700 pound capacity, and this is similar to the Gorilla version that has the um, mesh sides. Well, I call it mesh because of the pattern, but this is a steel cart. It says that it has durable frame with removable side panels, comfortable and sturdy grip on handle that converts to a towable hitch. With the Gorilla Cart, you can detach the handle and attach it to the back of a, say, a lawn tractor, uh, a, lawn, a riding lawn mower. So it looks like you can do that with these too, but $64. And they also have this one that actually looks like my Gorilla Cart, the Poly Cart, 400 pound capacity. And I'm gonna check the price on this one. And the poly cart is also $64. So if you want an affordable option for a garden cart, there are two choices here by the Walmart um, Expert Gardener line. You have the poly garden cart with a 400 pound capacity. And then there's the steel cart with the foldable sides, 700 pound capacity. And both are $64. And check out this one. This I've never seen this before. This is a Gorilla Cart soft-sided folding cart. This would be great for, say, cleanup. If you're deadheading or weeding, you can throw some items in here and roll it around the garden. It says that it's um, durable, breathable, easy to clean, strong, rigid bottom, all-terrain wheels. And if you can see this photo here, it looks like it folds. So it's nice and compact. So if you don't have the space to store a larger cart, this could be a good option because it folds, making it compact and easier for a smaller space. And it's also looks to be fairly lightweight. Now I checked this one on the website. It was originally $64, but right now, as of today, which is the 14th of January, it looks like they are $49.98 on their website, on the walmart.com website. And let's take a look at what they have for seed starting supplies. I saw two things that already caught my eye that I think are really cool and I've never seen before. So let's check it out. Look at these reusable pop-out seed starting trays. This is a really cool concept because some of the time when you use those recycled trays, the biggest issue is that when you're popping out your seedlings, they tend to crack really easily. These would be reusable because they are a plastic material similar to, say, a Tupperware. They have the drain holes built in, but they have this flexible silicone cell bottom that will help you just pop out your cells really easily similar to the thing that they've done with ice cube trays so i found this to be really really cool so that you get eight cells here for 9.97 not bad really cool product this is by burpee look at this a hydroponic grow kit it says it's matte white, self-watering, automatic LED lights, extends to, extends to 13 inches of growing space by lifting the top here. Grow indoors all year round. So if you have a gardener that you want to give a gift to, this would be a really cool gift. And they are $59. And then there's also this microgreens growing kit, ready to harvest in just seven days. Microgreens are packed with flavor and nutrition up to 40 times their mature plants. This has become a real popular thing these days. People grow microgreens, cut them, and put them on top of salads, and I'm sure there are many other uses as well. Um, broccoli, kale, kohlrabi, and cabbage. There is a reusable handcrafted ceramic planter inside. This is by Back to the Roots. And then there's also these refill value packs that you can get. So the kit here is $15.99 and the reusable or the refill packs for the microgreens are $12.99. They also have the regular stuff, you know, the um, starting seed starting mixes. Um, this is by Burpee and it's an organic seed starting mix for $6.74. Looks like you get a good amount. It says it controls moisture with coconut core. Made with coconut core, unlike peat moss, renewable and sustainable resource. That's really good. 
Then they have the seat cells, Waters up to 10 days. And it comes with the humidity dome. And yeah, it's really good. The plastic on these sometimes are a little flimsy, so they tend to break easily. Um, but the fact that it's self-watering is what is a plus for me in terms of this system. I've never used them before. I tend to stay away from indoor seat starting these days and prefer the direct sew or winter sew method. But if you do like to indoor seat start, I can see how the self-watering would be a really good option. And here's something else that when you indoor seed start could be really helpful. It's a heat mat. There are some plants such as peppers that do benefit from bottom heat, also some flowers. So this one here is a 10 by 20. And let's see, it's by Burpee. Let's see how much it is. $26.97. I also have the Fairy Morse heat mat. That's a 10 by 20 size, the same as the Burpee. And this one is $25.88. So the Fairy Morse is $25.88 and the uh, Burpee is $26.97. But look what else I just found. They have more of those pop-out seed starting uh, reusable cells. This one here is a 36 cell and it is $11.44. So actually, I think that's a much better buy because here you're paying $8.97 for eight of them. And with this one, you're paying $11.44 for 36. It's just that this is one solid piece. So if you like the smaller trays to work with, you would probably have to buy them individually. Um, but look at that. This is awesome. And then they have a 16 inch cell as well. These look to be a bit bigger. So these are a larger size cell, they're extra large. And this one is 16 pop out reusable seed starting trays by Burpee, durable and flexible silicone cells. And let's see how much these are. So the 16 extra large is 11.44. And look at this, a modern indoor LED grow house. It's made out of bamboo. You can sit it on top of a table. It says lacquered bamboo provides a long lasting finish, excellent in kitchens and living spaces. And it gives you a DC adapter with timer and two prong plugs. This is amazing. It looks like a fish tank for plants. It has the grow light and it's the case that will keep the humidity in. Really cool. Also another great gift item for a gardener. Look at this, $74.98. Um, let's see if it gives us any dimensions in terms of the size. It says that it's designed to fit their seed starting trays. So if you get the uh, Fairy Morse seed starting supplies, they would fit inside the case here. And let's get the dimension. Here's the additional information. It says it has a 19 and a half inch long LED strip light. Great for beginners, made of renewable bamboo. LED bulb life of over 500 hours. It has a timer, three timer intervals, 10 light intensity setting. And you can even put house plants in there that maybe require a little bit more light. Some herbs, propagation. I can see this being really useful. So it says that the frame is 22 and a half inches wide, uh, 17 and a half inches tall. So really cool item. And something else that I found to be new this year is this vertical seed starting station. It almost looks like a laundry drying rack. Look at that. It's wooden. It's ideal for seed starting. It holds four standard 10 by 20 seed trays. Um, it doesn't have lights. So I think the only thing is you'd have to rig some kind of light situation on this. But if you just need a place to sit trays, this could work. The only thing about it is that it doesn't seem to have lights. So I don't know how it could be... Um, you know, used in that sense. It says designed to fit our seed starting lineup, best results to use with their Ferry Morse greenhouses, um, grow lights and heat mats. So if you needed the structure to place your seeds on, you could use these because the size is perfect for their seed trays, their heat mat and their grow light, which they do have some and we'll take a look at those. And again, these are $49. Seed starting grow light by Ferry Morse. It is, um, set up to be 10 by 20 to fit over a 10 by 20 tray. It has high output T5 bulbs, obtain faster growth with T5 full daylight spectrum bulb. They are $45. So if you wanted to start a grow light setup, 
it could you know it could add up you're looking at $45 for the grow light another $49 for that tray there and then you would need the heat mat for about $26 so you know if you start adding it up it could get costly but also this is something that you can use year after year if you wanted to make that initial investment but some really cool new products definitely enjoying the look of that um, enclosed tabletop greenhouse box and these C trays were definitely the find for me today with the pop-out silicone bottoms really cool item a few more new items that I haven't seen before by this um, expert gardener line by Walmart look at this a vertical garden bed this would be really nice again for like an herb garden by a back patio or deck it looks like it has a black frame with these galvanized look planters and let's see they are $55 see if we can get any dimensions on terms of like the size of these it says that it's 21 inches in width 19.30 diameter and 42.72 inches in height A vertical raised garden bed a wooden one let's see how big this one is 29.7 uh, inches wide 17.9 inches deep 23.7 inches high really good if you have issues with your back to grow some plants some annuals or even some herbs or um, greens salads anything really good option these are small elevated beds for $55 check this out it's a three-tier garden bed made from durable cedar and it has a tiered design I took a look on their website because I couldn't find the price tag and this one is $79 it's also by expert gardener three tiers of plantings really pretty I just double checked the price on this and it's actually $84 for the tiered planting bed. The three tier garden bed by Expert Gardener. And then they also have this one here which is a versatile ground level garden bed that can be set up in multiple configurations and it is also $84. And this one here is $74 and look how cute that is. I love that metal trellis detail be really good on a deck or patio really anywhere but this one here is let's check out the dimensions it says it's 30 inches wide by 17.9 inch diameter and then 46.7 inch height and that would be to the top of that trellis this would be perfect for even like a balcony like a small space garden well that concludes today's tour of Walmart's inventory of houseplants planters and seed starting supplies. I hope that you've enjoyed spending this time with me checking out these items. As always, thank you for hanging out and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you soon.